CD Projekt Red has now confirmed that the next Witcher game is indeed going to be called as The Witcher 4. Now recently, CDPR released a brand new teaser image of the next Witcher game in the installment, but they never really mentioned it as The Witcher 4, because when you put a new number next to The Witcher series, that basically means that the story could be continuing from where we left off with The Witcher 3 itself, which could possibly mean that we might be seeing some more stories linked with Geralt of Rivia. Now, for First of all, CD Projekt Red explains on why they had to make this switch between their current Red Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5 in order to develop The Witcher 4. Now, in a recent interview, CDPR's CTO Pavel Zavodny said that the reason that they had to switch to Unreal Engine 5 for their next game, The Witcher 4, is because the Unreal Engine basically offers better open world reach, which means that the graphics in Unreal Engine 5 is going to look much, much better. And the technology that Epic has developed is absolutely phenomenal because when it comes to open world games, according to the developers of The Witcher 4, it seems like they rely on Unreal Engine. 5 more than Red Engine 4 because open world games have a lot of stuffs, a lot of props and a lot of things that needs to be designed at the same time and players have a numerous amount of options of however they want to play, wherever they want to go in the world and with the help of a tool like Unreal Engine 5 that there is no game engine in the current market that is even better than what Unreal Engine 5 could basically provide in terms of making that open world transition as smooth as possible. That making changes to an open world game post launch, which means that after the game has been released and when developers want to make changes to certain things inside the game, let's say, for example, you just want to change the way certain things or some props looks inside a game that could basically end up messing the entire game up with any other engines. But when it comes to Unreal Engine 5, it seems like this tool is absolutely stable and you can basically make any sort of changes you want without really having to break the game into 1600 other places down the line so that itself is a very huge milestone set for the witcher 4 because developers are going to be focusing on more add-on content for the game itself so there could be more content being added after the game releases as a full launch so the game could either be altered or we might be seeing more dlc expansions or small weekly changes new content and stuff like that because when you take a look at fortnite where there's this massive open world of battle royale and epic games have done an enormous enormous job in terms of just altering the already existing map and then creating new stuff adding in a bunch of live events and there can be so much done with the unreal engine 5 in terms of open world games especially with a huge AAA enormous game like the witcher 4 and that's one of the biggest reasons as to cdpr as to why they chose to go with unreal engine 5 for the development of the witcher 4 now cdpr's devs have also said that one of the biggest reasons as to why they also chose the Unreal Engine 5 for an open world project is because Unreal Engine in general is a public tool, which means that any game developer around the world can basically use Unreal Engine 5 for absolutely free. So anyone and everyone has the access in order to make their own games. And this also means that a lot of developers and a lot of companies around the world have used Unreal Engine 5 to make open world games. So there are a ton of different tools and assets that were already used and created by other developers that could also be re used in order to make the Witcher Force project possible. So there are a ton of tools, a lot of accessibility features are available already in this engine. So every single bit of new development changes that they need to make to the game is right onto their fingertips. So, so this is going to be very helpful in terms of game development for the development team of the Witcher for itself. So this is one of the biggest reasons as to why they chose the Unreal Engine 5 over the Red Engine 4. Now another really cool topic that we already touched on is that City PR has now finally agreed in order to call the next Witcher game as the Witcher 4 because that is how CD Projekt Red addressed the next Witcher saga or whatever the next sequel was going to be that they teased out a couple weeks ago and people are just going crazy on what this Witcher game is going to be named as because if it was named as the Witcher 4 could this possibly mean that we might be seeing some kind of a storyline related to Geralt or any of the other characters that we've already played as or even been with in the main storyline 
lines of Witcher 1, 2, and 3? Or would this be an entirely different character, someone that we have never ever seen before? Now, obviously, the medallion here states that it's a Lynx Cool, which means that this is not something that we've already seen in the lore books or even any of the games that was made before. But since we have the game named as The Witcher 4, I highly think that there is a very possible chance that we might be seeing a lot of things related to The Witcher 3's Wild Hunt as well. So there is, of course, a lot of information coming in for The Witcher 4. And now that we're really closing into Game Awards and E3 press conference that has currently been canceled, I think. But then I think E3 is kind of planning some kind of an online event which could take place. So there is going to be a ton of information that is going to be dropping related to The Witcher 4. And CD Projekt Red is already giving us a ton of information lately about the game itself, keeping the fans hyped. And I will, of course, keep you guys informed right here on this channel. Every single bit of information you need about The Witcher 4 or any of the upcoming open world games, because that is what I cover on this channel. Everything that you need about the open world games, the leaks, information, upcoming, whatever is going to be available right here on this channel. So make sure that you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on and set the notification settings to all. Because if you don't do that, then the broadcast YouTube platform, they just don't send you guys the notifications of my daily videos, which I upload every single day. And like you guys already know, I love to keep all of my videos as short as possible without really having to drag my videos all the way to 10 minutes long just to melt those juicy ad revenues out of YouTube. So if you guys do support these short videos that gets the information right onto your face without having to waste a lot of your time, then make sure to go ahead and show your support to these content by simply just dropping a big fat thumbs up, which is the like button, break it or do whatever you want. That would really help me out as a content creator a lot. And let me know down below in the comments, would you guys like to see Geralt of Rivia returning in The Witcher 4 or would you guys want to see an entirely new character? Let me know in the comments, what do you guys want to see? Let's see what the community wants. And if at all CD Projekt Red is watching this video, they would probably get an idea of what the community is really looking forward to. So with that being said, lads, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Until then, take it easy, fams, and goodbye.